Enjoy the show, show so far. Big hand for Jacob, our host. So I'm going to bring you all something new today. I am the only comedian with a doctorate. Yeah. That's right, suck my PhD. All right, calm down, calm down. I'm not that big of an asshole. No. Uh, it, it is weird that only like MDs get to call themselves doctor, though. I feel like we gotta extend it to everyone. I think anyone who's been to college, done an education, should get called by their title. You know, like um, it would make parties more interesting. You're like, oh, hello, uh, Dr. Wong, Dr. Smith. Let me introduce you to my friends. We have uh, Bachelor Lee, Bachelorette Tanya, Mistress Chen, and Associate Plumbing Technician Tim. And there's Jacob. <laughs> I do have a doctorate, you know what that means? It means I am not an English teacher. Oh. I'm an English professor. It's different, it's different. It means I do twice the work for half the pay. Because I'm smart and made good career choices. Uh, I, I don't tell people I'm a professor either. I don't look like a professor. I look like a professional yoga teacher, that's what I look like. <laughs> So I get different reactions when I tell people I'm a professor. Like, if I tell white people I'm a professor, they're like, oh, cool. Want some drugs? <laughs> well, yes, but actually, yes, yeah. Uh, if I tell a Taiwanese person I'm a professor, they're like, huh? You should show, 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 show. I mean, I'm flattered. I mean, I've, I've used it. I like, I like the appreciation you have for educated people here. Like. A week ago, I was driving my scooter, and I get pulled over by a cop. And the cop tells me, you know, I pulled you over. I say, no. He said, you were speeding. And I say, officer, I'm a doctor. Have you not read Einstein's theory of relativity? Speed is relative. You say I was speeding, but from my frame of reference, you were going backwards very, very quickly. The laws of the road. If you give me a ticket, you're violating the laws of physics. That story is, of course, not true. Police in Taiwan never pull over white people. <laughs> Speaking of racism, I bring a little bit of diversity to the table here. I'm actually your only Jewish comedian. Oh, really? What, not expecting a Jew at a comedy club? Comedy? Come on, we invented comedy. We had fuck all else to laugh at. Invented comedy. Yeah, I'm Jewish. I don't look bad either. No, I'm gonna suck my circumcised D. <laughs> Jews invented comedy. We invented comedy shortly after we invented God. <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. Are you worshiping our deity? We worked through all this trouble, write a best selling book with all these interesting characters and all these interweaving plot lines, and all anyone can talk about is the unlicensed fan fiction. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was a Jewish holiday a few weeks ago. It was Passover. Oh, yeah, yeah I expected that. <laughs> Passover. Pat from it comes from the Hebrew word, which also means Passover, literally passing over. Chinese word for Passover translate also to Passover. It makes sense. French word for Passover, Pascha Juif. Jewish Easter. Aww. Yeah, fuck you, the French. <laughs> How about I call Paris the capital of French Vichy? You like that? Oh, come on, there must be Europeans in the audience. Uh, oh, <laughs> speak. Thank you, yeah. So, wait, what? Hold on, quiet you. Quiet me, darling. <laughs> uh, well, so it, it was Easter. Refresh my memory. Easter is the holiday that celebrates the resurrection of Jesus, right? Really? What? <laughs> I'm Jewish. How the fuck should I know? <laughs> Am I on to it? Am I right? <laughs> Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back! <laughs> Forgive all your sins. You're getting saved. You're getting saved. You're getting saved. Hands where I can see them, Sam. That's right. Jesus is back. 2020 was all leading up to this. Oh, Sam. Sorry I'm late. To be fair, what happened last time I was here? Circum you know, on the cross. You know, after a guy's been nailed, you have to wait for him to recover. What? You're not getting saved. <laughs> 
after the guy's been nailed, you need to wait and let him recover before he comes again. <laughs> oh, clean crap, clean crap, fine, fine, fine. No, 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 Jesus. Remember a little while back, I'm going to fix this, remember a little while back when people were seeing Jesus in their grilled cheese sandwich? Yeah. Maybe that was the second coming. Like that, maybe that was it. Like, that was it. That was, that was it. You were supposed to eat him, absorb his power, like someone fucked up. Like, <laughs> I'm just picturing there's somewhere in like in a monastery in Spain, some monk is poring over these ancient records from the Vatican archives, like Jesu Cristo, Segundo Advenimiento, Sera una quesadilla, ay Dios mío, we missed it. Oh. I mean, who is to say Jesus has to come back the same way he was the first time? I mean, first time he was Jewish, nobody saw that coming. He could come back as anything. He could come back as a penguin. Not just anything, a, a Taipei Zoo penguin, right? Alright, picture this. Yeah, the Taipei Zoo, you got this one penguin in the center. And all these other penguins are huddled around him. They're not paying attention, they're just cold. It's the center penguin's like... And the other penguin's like... The center penguin goes... The penguin goes. That's not penguin Jesus. It's penguin Hitler. What do we do? We can't kill him. He's too cute. A little seaweed armbands and everything. I don't know. Why does Hitler never come back as a sandwich? If you were making a, a you know, breakfast and it comes out of Hitler, would you tell anyone? Like, ah, Hitler again. <laughs> Keep trying to make French toast and it comes out of Vichy. <laughs> I don't know. Anyone could come back as a, as, a, as a sandwich. It doesn't have to be someone famous. Like maybe, you know, someone's making her a breakfast and it's her, her dead husband. It's like, honey, I've come back as a grilled cheese. I had to tell you it wasn't an accident. It was a murder. They're going to cover you next. You have to be careful. And she's like, ah. It's Jesus! My husband's in heaven! No, honey, I'm back as a sandwich. There's nothing I can for you. It's awful. There's nothing in the Bible that says that can't happen. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Anyway, speaking of Nazis, I got a friend who's a vegan. Oh, come on. You know the Nazis were vegans, right? It's true, it was a vegan. Hitler was a vegan, it's true. I love bringing that up, it's such an easy way to piss off Nazis. <laughs> do they still do that, Nazis? Are they still like the vegan thing? It's like, excuse me, does this have dairy? I can't eat this, I'm a Nazi. You should try the Nazi diet. Ever since I went Nazi in 2016, my life has changed. She purges your body of all the toxins, as we plan to do for civilization. <laughs> Reminder, Jewish, I can say that. <laughs> in the past, in the past. Uh, vegan, no, I, so I got a vegan friend. Uh, he told me, you know, if animals could talk, people wouldn't want to eat them. I don't think that's true. I think we would just use that information to decide which animals we eat, you know? <laughs> like, you go to a roadshow place, they got all the, all the fish lined up, you pick which one you want to die. I think, if I could talk to animals, I would sit in front of it and I would listen, and I'd wait for this one fish to go, man, Oh, and it's a fish that's gonna go, fish! <laughs> COVID's not real, it's a pandemic. I'm like, lob on that one. <laughs> I don't know. I think people would get behind this. It's guilt-free eating animals. You just pick the one that's the biggest asshole. We'll call it cancel cuisine. <laughs> people would love it, we love it. It's like, uh, waiter, how's the lobster? Ah, oh, super racist. <laughs> And, you know, this would go to all of agriculture. Like, you got, you know, the dairy cow. Bessie, dairy cow, isn't making milk. The farmer is like, Bessie, I can't keep you anymore. Farm's got hard times. I'm gonna give you to another farmer. Remind me which race you don't like. And Bessie goes, Drews, Drews, Drews. It's a cow. The race is a cow. And the farmer goes, Rabbi, this one, this one. Ready for the kosher slaughter. And Bessie realizes her mistake and goes, uh, Hindus! Hindus! Hindus. Go recreational. 
normal. Like uh, you go fishing with um, you know, a flat earth or earthworm, so it deserves to die as a bait. You pull up a fish, and I'm just thinking like, oh, you didn't put up much of a fight. It's like, yeah, I'm tired of living. I want to die. Aw, well, that's sad. Why do you want to die? My girlfriend left me. I'm like, come on, that's no reason to be suicidal. I mean, there's plenty of... Plenty of what? Uh, no, no, finish that sentence, human. What were you going to say? Plenty of fish in the sea? I'm like, whoa, whoa. I, I've never even heard that expression. I would never... Oh, never mind. That's an embarrassment. Anyway, as I said to Jacob Jones's Jacob Jones's girlfriend on her birthday, I'm gonna get off and let Jacob finish. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been a fantastic audience. <laughs> the time's over. Oh wow! Thank you so much. That has been our show. How's it been?